All right, so here you go. This is the ingredients. Hey, not a whole lot. I'm gonna start off by going ahead and just showing, look, this is my pure vanilla extract, right? We're gonna use a quarter teaspoon. Now, because it doesn't have so many, you know, ingredients, right? I decided not to even put this in a bowl. Hey, sometimes it's, it's more of a, you know what I mean? Something like this, this is just like super simple. So we're just gonna put a quarter teaspoon of bacon uh, vanilla. Then we got that, you know, that powdered sugar, right? couple of tablespoons. Listen, this is a uh, salted butter, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna melt it. So this would be two tablespoons of melted. And then right here, you wanna get yourself a fresh pack, you know, of, uh, of Oreo cookies, right? These are just the regular ones. Here I got two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, I got 18. We're gonna use 18 of these. We're gonna make that crust, right? And we're gonna make it in this spring form pan. This is a non-stick spring form pan. And then I'll put the link down into the, uh, in the description box below. And I'll also pin it in the number one comment if you guys are getting uh, interested in getting one of these. This is a nine inch spring form pan. Here, we got cream cheese. We're gonna use about half of this. And then we got just a little bit over a half a cup. I mean, excuse me, a whole cup, right? If you look right here, it says 250 milliliters. And don't forget, if you guys know that, I, you know, I do work with Elisa from Elisa in the uh, kitchen. Her being overseas, you know, she has, uh, they give different measurements. So things come milliliter like that. And I gotta like convert them over, you know, for myself. And I'm gonna be putting it all together with my KitchenAid, you know, hand mixer. Hey, super easy. You guys are gonna look, love the presentation. And listen, you see the bottom of this? Look, this old-fashioned, you know, ice cream scoop. For those of you guys that know about uh, cold, st cold stones, hey, what is this? You know they use something like this. But look, we're gonna use the bottom of this because we're gonna crush them cookies up and we're gonna work it like this back and forth just to get them broke up. Now, with that being said, you see all of the ingredients. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna, you know, move our ingredients. We're gonna set up down in there and that'll be all correct. So all you gotta know is since I'm using a nine-inch springform pan and I wanna have some type of you know, thickness to my bottom crust, right? So I just doubled the recipe. Started off on low, right? Reason being, listen, if you hit it with it, you know, mixed too high, you know, with those eight, the beaters on there moving too strong, it's just gonna splash it everywhere. So I start off on low and then I ease it up, right? And then you can just see, you want it to get it thick and where it starts to form a peak, just like what you see right there. Now, once this is done and it looks like this, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sit it back into the refrigerator and we are gonna keep this chilled while we go on to the next step. Now, we got that in the refrigerator, right? Now what we wanna do is we wanna go ahead and get our cream cheese. And don't forget, we doubled everything, right? So we just jumped that whole thing of uh, cream cheese in our bowl, we come with our powdered sugar, and then our Watkins, right? This is our vanilla extract. Now, remember earlier I said that I didn't put it in the bowl, you know what I mean? Cause it's still about having a good workflow and the fact that you don't have to worry about another bowl being uh, washed, you know, it's just easier for me just to go ahead and just make that a half a teaspoon. Now you wanna start off on low, just like we did before, and you wanna just go ahead and mix that. And what we are looking for is like a creamy, you know, that's the creamy texture that we like. That right there is what you wanna see. Now that we have this done, right? I'm just gonna set this off like this. Now you can see here it is right here. What we are gonna do is we are gonna add this right here. And I can tell you, listen, I went ahead and cheated it and tasted it. And you wanna talk about good, Oh my goodness, I can't wait. Now, once you got everything poured into the, you know, our bowl, what you wanna do is get your mixer again, and then you just wanna start off on slow, and what you wanna do is you wanna mix it thoroughly, and then, you know, halfway through it, you wanna go ahead and scrape the edges with your spatula, and scrape the bottom, cause you wanna get an even, you know, mix, right? So then when you're done, then this part is really up to you. It depends on how much Oreo you would like to have in your filling, or you know, you can put as much as you like or as little as you like. What I did was just broke up those six cookies, stirred it up, and what I do is when I do it like that, I just fold it over. You notice I didn't use the hand mixer, right? I just went ahead and folded it over and it looked like that. If I would have had a lot more cookies, but because I kept eating them, you know, those Oreo cookies, I didn't have a lot to like put in there. That was my bad. Didn't know I was gonna be doubling the recipe. But after that, you could just see right here. Here's where it becomes self-explanatory, right? You just wanna get all of your filling inside of your uh, spring form uh, pan. And then what you wanna do is you wanna take your spatula and you wanna work it. And the objective is, listen, the objective is to get it level and spread all the way to the edge. So 
So just take it and use whatever technique you guys have uh, that you know that you use when you do baking. But other than that, you can just see how I did. I just like worked it around, got it as even as I could. And then that's what you get right there. Now, I went and got me some more cookies. And believe me, folks, I was running out. Because listen, I was having cookies, you know, throughout the whole cook, right? So just break them. And what we're doing right now is we're just decorating the top. Now, this part is up to you, but I think it gives it like a nice, you know, finish. Just break them up, set them on top, and it'll be just like that. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to put it in the refrigerator. Now, it's up to you. You can put it in the refrigerator for up to six to eight hours, or you can leave it in there overnight. Okay, here we go. Just took it out of the refrigerator. Now, just keep in mind, listen, I chilled mine overnight, right? Remember, six hours is good, you know what I mean? But I went ahead and opted just to go ahead and, you know, do it overnight. So, this is the spring form pan, right? So, you guys can see that. Now, now this particular pan, look. You see how these little latches right here, they like slide up and you can see like it kind of like spring, sprang open, right? You just want to take both of them off, you know, real simple. Just, you know, be careful. Once you got it off, then you just want to work with it. You know what I mean? You want to make sure that, you know, when you're taking the, the separating the halves, that nothing really like stuck, right? But that's a non-stick pan too. And there you have it. Look, nice. Not even that much stuck to the sides. Look, just make, you know, handle it with care. And that's what you come up with right there. I hope you guys can just see just how good and easy this is to make. You know what I mean? Uh, hey, so 